Today I'm going to show you how to rebuild a Fiat distributor. This is going to be applicable to pretty much all of them, but it's mainly based on the electronic ignition systems that would have been in the cars from 79 to 85. All right, we're going to go through the parts you're going to need. First thing is the O-ring, part number 1445-4380. Second thing is the gasket, 4151-4680. The vacuum advance, part number 5107. These are the bearings. You're going to need two of these. It's part number 2490505. The seal, part number 6866. And an ignition pickup, part number 6003. These are the tools you're going to need. Got a flathead screwdriver. You may need a Phillips head screwdriver also. A socket, a ball peen hammer, an assortment of punches, some scraps of leather, a vise, and some o ring picks. First thing I'm going to do is remove the vacuum advance. If you flip it over and look at the bottom side, there's going to be three screws that hold it in. They could be Phillips head or flathead. This particular model, they are flathead screws. You just remove all three of them, set them aside so you don't lose them. And the vacuum advance is still going to be attached to the distributor, actually, the advance plate inside the distributor. It's a little plastic clip. They can get very fragile and they usually break when you try to pop them off. Uh, really the only way to do it is to insert a flathead screwdriver under the bottom side and pry up very gently. And, and if you look at the clip, it is plastic. It's old. It's brittle. It's been through heat and it's probably gotten oil and ornament at one time or another. And you can see it's real loose so it's going to have to be replaced. You can't get the clip by itself and most time the vacuum advances in just a bad condition. First thing you want to do is remove the ignition rotor. I've already done it on this distributor and set it aside. The next piece we're going to remove is the ignition pickup itself. There's three screws holding it in. There's one right here where the harness goes through and then there's two more over at the pickup plate itself. And this is a flat hitch screw also. You're probably going to have to turn the shaft to distribute around to so that you can get a screwdriver in there. And once you get the screws loose on the plate itself, the pickup is still going to be stuck to the advancement plate because it's actually magnetic and the screws are going to do the same thing. You're going to have to actually lift the pickup out of place, just like I show here. You slide it out of place and the magnet's going to stick to the plate. You want to take your screws because one of them is longer than the other. You don't want to get them mixed up and put them back in the distributor itself just so you don't misplace them or get them mixed up with other screws. Now the magnet's still stuck here. I'm going to take an o-ring pick and slide between the magnet and the pickup plate. The only thing that really makes these go bad is they crack and you're going to try to keep it in one piece if you possibly can. And this one came right out in one piece. Also, I'll point out there's a stripe on it. The stripe goes down when you're installing it in a Fiat. Other cars, it may go a different direction, but in the Fiat, it definitely goes down towards the plate. You can take and stick it back to the pickup itself just so you don't lose it. And you can see I put the screws back in their original locations. All right, now we're going to take the gear off the bottom, and this is where the leather scraps come in. You want to put it in your vise and so you can dry the pin out and not damage the gear. I've already started this pin. It does take a lot more force than what I'm showing right here. I had already taken the pin out, and I didn't want to drive it all the way back in. You can see the pin here. And if you look, the pin is tapered on one side. So you want to make sure you drive it in the correct direction, otherwise you'll never get the thing out. The other thing, the reason we use the scraps, as you can see, this gear here, someone had already tried to get this distributor apart or taken it apart at one time, and you can see the, the gear is pretty gnarled up now. Okay, we've got the gear off. I'm going to show you how to take the shaft itself out now. What you're going to do is sit the base of the distributor, put the vise uh, right around here, and we're going to take a punch and drive it out. 
Also, you're going to make sure you remove the counterweights from the distributor plate on the top because otherwise they're just going to pop everywhere. Drive it out a little ways and the gear should come right off. There's your gear. And then you're going to have a washer. There's going to be another washer in the distributor also. The thicker one goes down towards the gear. A few more taps and takes the whole thing out. And it should slide right out. Okay, this is the top bearing. It's stuck to the shaft on this one. As you can hear when I spin this bearing, the bearing is definitely bad. All right, this plastic washer has two notches in it, and it, they do fit in the notches in the distributor. You can see the notch right here. It's going to be the top piece. The bearing is going to be below it. You're also going to have this felt washer below it. And then there's a small metal washer that's going to go between the bearing and the advancement plate. That's the thick washer that goes on the bottom. That's where the gear is at. And this is a thinner one that goes between the bearing and the advancement plate. Right in here. Okay, the last thing to remove is going to be the seal. They do make seal pullers. I didn't have one, and you can get it out just as well with a pair of vice grips. As you can see, this seal was old and hard, and it was pretty dried out. It's coming apart in pieces. Lower bearing comes right out. Just stick your finger in and pull it out. O-ring. Just take an O-ring pick and pop it off. As you can see, it came off in multiple pieces. This is the top bearing. You can see where the seal part of the bearing has actually melted from getting hot. Okay, that's it for the breakdown on this one. We'll be back to shoot the second part, which is the reassembly. <laughs>